Hello everybody, welcome to episode 18 of All the Mods 9, where we start working on auto-crafting in AE2. Let's jump into this episode. Alright, I know I've been putting this off for a while now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's time to start making... Uh... Uh, it's, it's time to actually get into auto crafting. Uh, I need certain stuff, I need a lot of it, and the, the only way is to actually just auto craft. You know what? This, this is slow. No, um, that's me. Yeah, I've been putting off uh, the auto crafting for some time. Wait, wait. Really? Re really? Okay. So we'll put that in there. Um, I've been putting off auto crafting, and like, I know. Uh, something that needs to get done. So we've got three of these pattern providers. We want to make these extended pattern providers, which require capacity cards and an engineering press. Capacity cards is just basic cards. Uh, basic cards and a crystal. So I should be able to take those and make three of those. Uh, what this does is it's like three times the amount as this, or four times. It's four times the amount of that. So this is the equivalent of having like 12 basic pattern providers. Uh, so let's see here. Next thing we need is a pattern uh, terminal. So here we've got us a terminal. We'll turn this terminal into a crafting terminal. All right, so we've got the crafting terminal. Now we've got the pattern encoding terminal. Uh, so now we can actually get into making patterns down here where it can be crafting, processing, smithing tab, smithing uh, patterns, and stone cutting patterns. So it saves us a lot of issues here shortly. Uh, so we need, I want some patterns to start with. What is it? Uh, Pattern modifier. I, I don't know this one. Huh. Um, what is it? Where is it? Where is it? I know that's a. Oh, that's the applied energistic two one. The the flame patterns here. Okay, so we're gonna make two of these blank patterns. We're gonna come down here and we're gonna teach this, this recipe, but we're gonna use regular quartz into this because, you know, and we want uh, molecular chambers as well taught to this. All right, so let's get some molecular chambers. Um, doesn't need to be too many to start with. Like, I'm gonna say 12 to start with. And that's because we ran out of formation cores. 
this should be two more of these. So yeah, okay. Okay, uh, we've got some recipes that we need to work on. First thing I need to do is get some cables here. Uh, I want to make better cables for this system. So let's start out with uh, some quartz fibers here. And let's see here. To make the dents, you need the cover. To make the cover, do you need uh, these with that and to make that. Okay, so there we go. We've got 30 of those, so let's make covered cables. All right, so. There we go, we've got 30 covered cables, and that makes dense cable, covered cables. And to make these into smart, uh, because we like to see the number of uh, lines going on this. Hmm. All right, all right, there we go. We have seven dense smart cables. Let's see here, can we make smart covered cables? Go. Um, and I would like it, I'm thinking about where to put that controller. Uh, or keeping it right there. Let's see. We bring this down like two. Uh, can we make some more cables real quick? Uh, you know what? Bring it down two. So we'll bring it one, two. This is only temporary. Uh, I just realized I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I forgot to get out some universal cables. So. Oh, wait. Not the molecular chamber. Any controller. Uh, and say we put the universal cable. Right there, like that. All right, so we've got this. And what we're going to do is uh, start going downwards from this. Okay, to the side. Yeah, we'll, we'll make it to the side here. And what we'll do is put down one of these, but we'll first want to put a molecular assembler there one of these and around it uh, we're going to put additional molecular assemblers attaching each side like so okay so we'll hold on to these other two pattern providers here and just come back up here And uh, let's see here, we will now get a 
trying to remember how to do this. I, it's been a little bit since I've uh, done the AE2 crafting, if you guys watched my last series. Uh, we did refined storage. So... I get I get a little bit sidetracked between the two of them. I'm trying to remember here an annoying wandering trader. Um where is it? Come on. I I don't want that. Just, just go. Leave me alone. Um, thinking here, I, I'm, I'm lost in thoughts, guys. Uh, I need. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I need crafting units. That's what I need. So let's make some more. Uh, flux cables. I. Uh, and we're going to need at least uh, two sets of these crafting units to start with. Okay, so each of these crafting units uh, can be turned into stuff like co crafting co-processing units, which are very useful. Uh, I do want one of those. So that's what one of those is used for. And then storage for the stuff for crafting in this particular pack. Uh, the highest one is 256K. So which is the best one? Um, but I'm trying to remember here. Yeah, you have to make the storage for it. So let's see if we can at least get the 16K done. We need three of these, so we need nine of these. All right, so nine of these. And we're out of crystals. Good thing we've got plenty from sieving. I need to improve our sieve setup. All right, um... here and make 16k what what if we did 64k that would be 18 okay so we can't do the uh 18k one because we ran out of that stuff so let's grab the stuff for the logic press Uh, do, 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 do. I think it's logic that's uh, the goal. It's not. Write it down below what, it, what you guys think it actually is. But I, I, I just proved that it is gold. Uh, so we need a stack of redstone. We really need to improve the inscriber as well so we can automate it a little bit better. Uh, doo -doo -doo. That's plenty for right this moment. I need a minimum of five, so let's go 20. we get 20 here we'll be ready to do the next step there we go and then we'll start processing the rest of this so we have more okay so now four and five 
So this will now make the 4K. Like so. Should be nine of those. And the 4K will make 16K. Where is it? 16K right here. Three of those. We use this to make the 64K. Okay, so now we have the 64K. We take that along with one of these crafting units and we get a 64K storage. Now this, uh, for right now, say that, and I, I honestly mean it for right now, but you know, not of course bad at that. We'll place down the 64K storage and the crafting coprocessor. Now, we should be able to come in here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, we'll come over here where this is at. We'll just uh, stick these two in here. And we'll say we want uh, patterns. Okay, so we want a stack of patterns. Uh, it's missing how to make quartz glass and it's missing the crystals. So that's that's not too hard. So we can actually tell it to make uh, two of these. We can teach this how to make quartz glass. Okay, so now it has quartz glass in here. Uh, that goes in there like that. Now, they, let's grab some of this quartz dust out and some regular quartz as well. Just toss that right up in there. And now we say, make us 64 of these. Okay, so it has everything it needs to craft. It has the ability to craft the quartz glass to make the pattern. So once we start that, it starts processing. We have our 64 blank patterns. So we, we've got enough blank patterns for a little bit here. Um, one of the things, the next thing I want to do is upgrade the inscriber here, uh, to do that, we're going to need, let's see here, six more pistons. and all of them to be slimy, right? Then we can make three more of these inscribers. All right, so now what else do we need? We need an ME interface, uh, which we need these formation and annihilation cores. Those are gonna be something that we're gonna need a lot of, so. We're going to teach this how to craft the formation and uh, annihilation cords. I can never remember how to spell annihilation. Okay, so we'll get this down here to these. Okay, so now, uh, let's see here, use for this. We're going to need the uh, interface taught to this system. 
So let's just teach it that it uses regular glass, not the uh, tinted glass here for this. All right, so we'll teach you how to make the ME interface. And now, what's the last portion of this? Well, what are these? These are storage buses. That's another useful thing for us to teach, which we already have the interface taught to it. We just need to teach it pistons and sticky pistons. Simple enough. Teach it pistons. Teach it sticky pistons. All right. So once we got that taught to this, uh, we, we, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting some auto crafting started. Uh, it's so, so much my, my cup of tea. And I miss auto crafting a lot. So we got the sticky pistons. We've got that now. Uh, say we now want to teach it how to make the storage buses. Okay, so we can, you know what, that comes off for right now. We're, we're, we're not coming down to the bottom portion anymore. We're just going to walk along the top there for right now. Uh, teach you storage buses. All right, so say storage bus. We will te we will tell it that we want four of these. So it's missing fluix dust. Uh, we have some on us, but we got to start teaching it how to make it. Here in a few seconds, how to make the fluix dust. And it, it's crafting this. There we go. The four of those are done. Next, we're going to need the interface. Only one of these. And there we go. So we've got this. So now we can press U to this. And we get the extended inscriber. Um, this thing is super overpowered. It has four inscriber jobs. Okay, so we can go all the way back to job one and we'll tell it job one is silicon. We can go down over to job two. Job two is logic. Uh, we can tell it that job three is uh, calculation. Okay, so we could actually have this thing handling all the presses here, the, the four presses, and we would have to have another one of these uh, extended extrivers on line for it. So we can set a pattern uh, provider on top of this. Uh, and what I will do is tell it, okay, so silicon, to make this printed silicon, it can make it this way. Wait, 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 wait. What was that? What was this? Sky steel metal. And it looks like I it will take all four of the presses. What what's this sky steel metal? So charged surface quartz, iron, sky stone. And we get two of those. Sky stone. 
skystone dust. You know what? Small detour. Uh, oh, I've upgraded our furnace over here because I was tired of just having one output, so. All right, there we go. We get the sky stone. You know what? Give me back these. Um... Let's let's grab the other press real quick. Okay, so let's grab iron. I would like a total of three sets, so I need twelve iron blocks. And what we'll do is we'll put this in here with this. And there we go. There we go. Oh, are are you not getting power? No, it's devices online. Okay, uh, oh, there we go. Okay, so we've got four of those. There we go, that's better. We don't see a progress bar. That's, that's what's throwing me off here. All right, so we've got the three of those, so that makes four. I guess I'm making one set too many, but uh, let's grab a bucket for lava. Let's see here, uh, we'll we'll set this up in world. Let's see here, stone. One, two, three, four, bucket of lava. Okay, so what is it? Sky stone, that, and what else was it? Let's see here. Uh, charged quartz. Okay, so we should have some charged quartz over here. Yep, okay. Uh, we'll toss this in here, we'll toss this, and we'll toss... Okay, so I think we could come up with some way of crafting this. Automatically. I'm not sure exactly how, but we could. We could come up with an interesting, interesting way of crafting that. I have to think about that. Um... So now that we've got these, I only want three of them. Okay, so now on the patterns, we can teach it that this pattern 
or this is made this way. Uh, this is made, we don't need this with this. Um, calculation press or calculation is made like this. And we'll, we'll say, we'll teach you this anyway. Use for this is this recipe. Um, what, what, which one are we missing here? Uh, the diamond one, which is calculation, logic, and, um, What what is the presses? What is the presses? Engineering. That's it. There we go. Teach you this recipe for this and this recipe for this. And all of those can be placed in here. Okay, and now we can put this one print job one, this one print job two, and this one print job three. I'm not sure which one. All right, so now, uh, let's pull this out here. Let's just say one of these. Oh, and it, it's done. So it knows how to process it. Good. Good. Now, now we can get somewhere. Um, what was our current project down here? I don't remember what we were working on. Uh, but we did get start of auto crafting done now now i feel a little bit better we can start auto crafting our hearts content uh here in a bit we'll get to the power flower again if i can remember how it's all set up uh, i want to teach it how to make stuff so i'm going to spend some time teaching this how to make certain patterns and stuff. Let me fix that. All right, uh, recipe for this again. There we go. Recipe for capacity cards. Recipe for the blank cards. See, see, once you start getting auto crafting, stuff starts coming quicker and faster for for us. And I, I think this is a good start for our auto crafting. Um, one more thing, I would like to teach you cables. Okay, so let's teach you how to make these type of cables, make these type of cables, uh, let's grab glass, now we want to make sure that it's using the correct cables and correct glass, again not the tinted ones. 
All right. Um, so now we could teach it the smart cables or the dense cables. There we go. And now we could teach it the the smart cables. I did not teach it the more advanced form. Okay, so there we go. Uh, it, right now, I've got to teach it the basic crafting components. So let's see here. Uh, one thing I want to do is, I'm, I'm getting tired of having to go down there, is making a a pattern access terminal. Okay, so um Pattern access terminal. So let's have you make that. So there we go. We got the pattern access terminal. Not where we wanted to place it. Got to make sure you're looking at the right site. Now we can see the extended inscriber, the molecular assembler that we have downstairs, and just put the patterns right in here. Um, so between this episode and next, I'm going to teach this a few more crafting stuff. I'm trying to think here what we want to teach it um, and get another molecular assembler set up down there and stuff so until next time guys you have a wonderful day uh, if you like this episode hit that like button if you haven't done so yet hit that subscribe button really helps out the channel helps me grow leave a comment down below what you would like to see me try next in this pack and until next time. Later, Gators.